zoning committee for approval next month and then to the full Chicago City Council. Your internet browser is in many respects your world view. Marketplace Morning Report is supported by Schwab. Helping people invest in ideas they believe in with Schwab investing themes. With more than 40 themes to choose from. More at schwab.com. I'm David Brancaccio in New York. Open AI, which triggered the AI boom with its chat, GPT, artificial intelligence, is reportedly working on an AI-powered Internet browser. That's according to the tech site called The Information, which cites people who have seen prototypes or designs. The reporting suggests Open AI still hasn't decided whether to go forward with this, which would be a major challenge to Alphabet's Google. Marketplace's Nova Safo is here with more. Well, David, the information says OpenAI has reached out to a number of developers and companies about this browser idea it's working on and the search features associated with it. Among the companies are said to be Condé Nast, Redfin, Eventbrite, and Priceline. The report also says OpenAI is not close to launching a browser yet. This is all still in the idea stages, apparently. Google Chrome, dominant internet browser, Google dominant search engine. It would seem OpenAI could directly challenge Google. Well, it certainly could. OpenAI has made several moves towards that end, and it recently introduced a prototype it calls Search GPT. Now this browser idea would complement the search product, uh, presumably the idea. And the timing all of this, David, is interesting because the Justice Department submitted court filings on Wednesday in one of its two antitrust cases against Google, in which it proposed forcing Google to break up its business by selling off its Chrome browser. Now, the DOJ also wants the presiding judge in the case to set limits on how the end Android mobile operating system operates, potentially forcing Android sell-off as well. Uh, these would be huge antitrust-related changes, the likes of which we haven't seen since the Microsoft case, what, 25 years ago now? And if you're Google, you might point to pending competition from the likes of OpenAI in your argument against being forced to break up your business, David. Marketplace's Nova Safo in California. Stock index futures are pointing to a lower opening today. S&P futures down three tenths percent. Dow futures down two tenths percent. NASDAQ futures down four tenths of a percent. The average 30 year fixed rate mortgage is holding steady 7.04 percent, according to Mortgage News Daily's calculation. That it's down slightly from the spike the morning after the election, but still up near it was in early July. <music> Marketplace Morning Report is supported by Fortune, dedicated to empowering leaders to make intelligent business decisions and delivering unbiased reporting. Subscriptions, newsletters, and more at Fortune.com. Now to Econ Extra Credit, one usually documentary film a month, which we invite you to watch when you can fit it in. This month is a doc called Union that uses a lot of footage shot by workers at Amazon's big warehouse on New York's Staten Island as they manage to form a union from the grassroots. I happen to be a current Amazon worker at JFK8. The pay and the work conditions are totally a nightmare. They expect you to do 200, then after that they want you to do another three, and then they want you to do another four. Those numbers are shipments to process. The vote to unionize was April 2022, but the union is still waiting for the company to begin bargaining. Union, the movie, had to turn to innovative distribution methods because a conventional distributor could not be found. Stephen Bang is one of the film's directors, and he joins us now. Welcome to the program. Thanks so much for having me, David. The reviews have been strong for the film. You and your team are distributing it yourself. No one bought the rights. What do you think is going on here? We have felt the financial forces upon our distribution efforts. We were like one of 10 or 15 U.S. documentaries chosen from a pool of 12,000 submissions to Sundance. We got an award, invited to 100 or so festivals, and yet we've been sidelined in the distribution process with like so many other fantastic films. But also we're being told by friends working with distributors and studios that they're so sorry because they love the film and find it so urgent. But we do a lot of business with Amazon or the labor conversation in the film raises a lot of uneasy questions for our bosses. But it's about connecting with groups across the country to essentially embrace the film and get it in front of people. 
I mean, absolutely. This film is all about building community, right? In the beginning, it just started with asking their coworkers, how are you doing? And hearing the things that were happening in this workplace that has very pre-designed termination practices, right? There's a 150% turnover rate for workers at Amazon. So what this group of workers did that was astounding was they not only convinced more than 50% of their 8,300 worker warehouse to vote in favor of the union, but they did that with incredible attrition rates. Another way to look at this, Steve, is, is that if Amazon were so bad, they wouldn't be able to keep getting people to replace the people who leave by attrition. The numbers seem to show that people are attracted to working at Amazon for many reasons. This is a company, a powerful company that invests millions of dollars into the propaganda of wanting the public to believe and see them as Earth's best employer, right? This is their words, not mine. And so I think this idea that what is visible of a company like Amazon, and this film is not just about Amazon, right? This is very much about all corporations. But, you know, when you look at a business like Amazon, you have to understand that these are workers that they have preyed upon, right? You know, everybody wants things cheap and fast. And where does that burden fall? On the workers. For decades, Amazon and the workers at Amazon were told, well, this is a space that is unorganizable. Amazon cannot be beat, so don't even bother trying. For us, it was an incredible privilege to be on the ground and bear witness for over three years as they actually set out to gather, you know, a little over $100,000 in crowdfunding to beat an over $14 million anti-unionization campaign and do that victoriously. Stephen Mang, he along with Brett Story directed Union, a documentary about the first Amazon Union. You can catch the film for a limited time on gather.com, G-A-T-H-R.com. We also have more information on our website. Steve, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me, David. Amazon did not respond to a request for comment by our deadline. We watch a film a month for Econ Extra Credit here in search of teachable moments on econ, workplace, and business themes. Search Marketplace news Newsletters to sign up free. Our executive producer is Kelly Silvera. Our digital producer is Catherine Orihuela. Our engineers are Brian Allison and John Brewington. In New York, I'm David Brancaccio. It's the Marketplace Morning Report. PM, American Public Media.